name is Charles Trippi. And I'm Ali Westenberg. We have the Guinness World Record for consecutive daily vlogs. It's been a really interesting 11 years of making videos online. And I never thought I'd be in the Smoky Mountains with a bunch of llamas. <laughs> Which are on their way. Up a llama, pick up some groceries. Yes, simply. And we're ready to go. I don't know where I could put my you know, Xbox or something. Like. Just plug it in. I'm actually impressed. I can't believe they can carry that much weight. Good job. Good job. Here, Chester. Go. Okay. Oh, yeah, you take that. Grass, right? Yes. <laughs> Don't recommend it. Right now, I am walking my llama friends up the mountain with Jiminy and everybody. Just trying not to slip on all these slippery rocks. Get like 60 pounds. Right, buddy? You cool? Everyone good? Come on, Bruce, Gary, Steve, and Ronald. So I was told this is called rhododendron, and it could possibly kill them, so we can't stop. We have to keep moving. These are them right there. Yeah, keep moving, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. I've been leading these guys for about half the mountain now. And I think it's about time that I pass the torch off the alley. There you go. Let's keep Thank moving. Thank you. I will. Keep going, guys. I think I can manage this. These might actually be my new favorite animal. They're so expressive with their faces and their ears. So they basically make this trek like three times a week where they bring food up to this resort, which you can only get to by foot. A leaf emoji right now. Notice this. And I was like, I recognize that from something. So that's how they came up with it. Yeah, that was this. Is that? And that's a heart. Heart in nature. Oh, there's emojis for that too. That's like I got no signal. <laughs> I can't snap that right now. thing that we learned about trees is that you can tell their age by the number of rings that they have. If you can see right here, you can see all the different rings and the more rings that they are, the older the tree is. Nature is a date spot? I would love it. I think nature is a date spot is beautiful, but if not a first date, not a first date my that'd be a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just going to go on a six mile hike in a place where there's no cell phone service and nobody walks by. That but I think be... as a date spot, it's really cool because you're just, there's no distractions. I got no signal. <laughs> that's so pretty. I can't snap that right now. You are kind of forced to get to know each other and I think that's a really cool thing. And I think it's a cool thing to experience together. so much for watching good morning america and to all you ladies and gentlemen out there this is such an awesome opportunity to bring your significant other out into the wild and there's something so romantic about it so you know what try and get out there and visit a park anything anything out in nature and kind of take yourself away from all that technology bye guys